Hey, I don't even feel like an intro. So I'm just hop right into the video. Last one. Alistair Overeem's Lip. Alistair Overeem is one of MMA's pioneering figures. Having fought pretty much everyone the heavyweight division has to offer, there isn't much Overeem hasn't seen or experienced. In December 2019, the UFC visited Washington, D.C., and Alistair Overeem would headline the event against undefeated heavyweight prospect Jarzinho Rosenstruck. Overeem was the favorite going into the fight, and seemed to do a good job of dictating the main event as the fight went on. As the fight approached the final seconds of the fifth round, Jorginho hits Alistair with a hard fight. left hand and then a right sending Overeem down, earning Rosenstruck the TKO. But it was the state of Overeem's lip that made the headline Damn. as Jorginho had literally ripped the Damn. The lip in half. Looking Fuck like a mutilation out of a horror film, fans thought Overeem would never heal from the injury. Yo. But thanks to the wonders of plastic surgery, it's like the injury never oh, happened. Surgeon, the surgeon did wonders for that kick. The power surgeon fighters can generate from their Damn. kicks is insane. And you know how you see some shit and your body parts start tingling in whatever area players. that shit was and in? My lip tingling like a motherfucker. Hussein Ayad faced Martiz Zaharovs at the sold-out Khalifa Sports City Arena. In the first round of the bout, Ayad throws a leg kick which is subsequently checked by Zaharovs. Leg However, nobody leg expected on the check. Ayad's leg to snap in half. In an injury Damn. very reminiscent of Anderson's... Yo. This shit ain't supposed to... I know that shit hurt like a motherfucker. At least it ain't a compound joint with a bone come out the skin. Damn. breakage against Chris Weidman. The referee immediately stops the fight. Zaharov's Shit. celebrations are put on pause as Ayad is understandably stretchered out of the arena. Alexi Olenek's ankle. I wonder how long Alexi that should take Alenek to hit. is one of the longest competing mixed martial artists in the world. The Russian heavyweight is known as the Boa Constrictor, a fitting title as he has won 45 out of his 57 pro fights via submission. Olenek joins us on this oh, list yeah. with a moment from his most recent fight at UFC San Antonio, where he faced That's just me, he a highly skilled big motherfucker. the co-main event of the card. Prior to the fight, many fans saw the contest going either way. Be that a Walt Harris knockout victory or an Olenek submission. When the bell sounds, the two touch gloves in the center, before Harris starts to throw hands at the Russian, and jumps into a flying knee, sending Olenek backwards. It's after this that Olenek seemingly sidesteps to try to recover distance, but landed funny on his feet, snapping his ankle. The Dying. Russian remains on the canvas for some time after, and is not present when Harris gets raised. It was later revealed by his manager that Olenek suffered a fracture in his right leg. Since the injury, Olympic has been in the game since 246. Maybe fucking with mission win over Maurice Green. I used to pay $240. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's face. After leaving the UFC to join Singapore-based promotion one championship, Sage Northcutt would immediately be well, that's the pretty boy motherfucker that they wanted to try make a star. Sage's debut was highly anticipated, having been heavily marketed during his time in the UFC. So it came as no surprise that it was going to be an easy win. I knew that, that was, the motherfucker he was fighting was the one just wanted to take the selfie. What kind of fan ass shit is that? Y'all about to fight. Y'all supposed to be up there doing a face off for y'all presser or whatever. When the bout hey, the motherfucker's a fan of it. fighters seemed eager to implement their high level striking skills. Sage is always going in for the highly technical strikes. Well, Cosmo had the power and his formidable Muay Thai abilities. It's early on in the fight we see Cosmo catch Sage with a vicious right hand, sending him slumped to the canvas. I was about to say, slumped him. just looks like a brutal KO. But when his x-ray was released, fans were shook. Sage underwent a nine-hour surgery Dang, to fix eight trouble. facial fractures that he ended up sustaining during the knockout. Damn! Thankfully, judging by Sage's social media, he seems to be in good be hard, though. And we could be expecting a return to action See, look, sooner rather pretty than later. So, I'm not sure you have his next opponent, but all I know is, is I'm going to heal up strong. When I can heal up strong and I'm 100%, I'm going to be ready and um, I'll be training hard. So, I learned some pretty valuable things from that, uh, from my, my fight and that experience. And... For my next fight going out there when I'm healed up, I'm gonna be an animal, I know that for sure. So y'all can expect to I see hope so. something that, that, cool that, uh, shit like that. I know that. Last Jerome Rivera's arm. 
We've seen broken legs and faces so far on our list, so let's debut our first arm entry with a moment you probably want to watch through your fingers. Jerome Rivera was competing at LFA 39 against Brandon Royval in a flyweight matchup. We can see Royval going on the offensive and pressuring Rivera against the cage. In an exchange, Royval strikes with his knee, and Rivera retreats, with his arm hanging in a way it really shouldn't. He unfortunately absorbs a few more strikes before the ref notices and waves off the fight, which is where we see the full extent of Rivera's injury. Bending the complete wrong way is oh, hard to look shit. at and hard to not feel sorry for Rivera. Rivera has since returned from his injury and gone on a two-fight win streak. Leslie Smith's cauliflower ear. At this point, combat athletes can deal with cauliflower Burrow. ear rather well, and it rarely has any impact on the combatant. However, that's not always that the case. Crazy. I think her shit was about to come off. Leslie Smith faced Jessica I and had I think I saw this shit. Her shit was about to come off. During the fight, Smith received some blows that landed on her cauliflower ear, which caused it to literally explode. Die. The fight is stopped shortly after, but the damage is done when yeah, Smith's ear is literally hanging off the side of her head. Can you and imagine that? ESPN after the fight, Smith went on to say she could understand why the fight was stopped, but she would trade her ear for a win in a heartbeat. Aoki Shinya gives Mizuto Hiroki kind of fucking perspective is that? I want my ear. Pioneer, Aoki Shinya has always been renowned and feared for his slick submission skills. And today, we're going to be looking you at one of the most savage for some submissions in his Shit. entire fighting career. Aoki met Mizuto Hirota back in 2009 at Dynamite Power of Courage. As we can see, Aoki manages to score a takedown early in the first round and secures a hammer lock over his opponent. It doesn't take long for Aoki to straighten Mizuto's arm out, which is where you may want to look away, as we see Hirota's arm snap on the pressure to further rub salt in the wound. Rather that than celebrating the injury, Aoki gives his injured opponent the middle finger treatment, going <laughs> wow, further laughing shit. and taunting his defeated opponent. He even boasts to the crowd after the breakage by pointing at his own arm before his corner eventually pulls him over to cool off. Tim means tibia. Damn, what the boy do to him for him? Ego price at UFC Wichita back in March like 2019 that. in a fan favorite fight that let's say didn't end the way anyone thought it would. Tim Means was dominating the first round, and the momentum of the fight was definitely in his favor. As the final minute of the first round approached, Means applied the aggression, landing some nasty shots, pressing Nico back towards the cage. It's against the cage where the magic of MMA happens, and Price counters Means with a hard right hook, sending Means to the canvas. The only problem was Means' leg fell beneath it, breaking in the ah. process. He later confirmed on its Instagram Shit. that he had in fact broken his tibia as well as his ankle in the process. Viewer discretion is heavily advised for a picture Tim Means' wife shared of the breakage. Die! Pat Sabatini it's doesn't nasty tap. Shit. CFFC 81 is a regional promotion that recently became the talk of the internet. When its featherweight champion Pat Sabatini learned exactly why we should always tap when the submission's on. As you see in the clip, his opponent locks his submission in tightly and awaits Sabatini to tap. However, Sabatini has other plans and decides to lift his opponent off the canvas and Let fight the submission off in hopes to stay oh, shit. in the fight. With his arm bending the complete wrong Sad way, shit. the inevitable is coming, but Sabatini won't tap and continues to fight off the submission. I mean, it's time to be sad about being after tough, but completely ripping his arm the opposite way, leaving it as a dangling mess. Right. If only the referee felt the worldwide audience is tapping for Sabatini. The motherfucker too tough for his own good. And make sure they no juke. Sophie Ambu Kichu's leg. Cage Warriors 101 was headlined by the highly anticipated heavyweight clash between Sofiane Bukichu and Tom Aspinall. The card itself was absolutely incredible, and the anticipation and well, buzz in the arena could be felt as both fighters made the walk to the cage. It wasn't long before the impending breakage would happen. Bukichu ended up nearly backed against the cage, and him and Aspinall were both weighing each other up to strike. Bukichu finds a moment and throws a powerful right leg to Aspinall, who promptly checks the strike. Bukichu wow. brings his leg back to enter his stance, and it's the <laughs> moment he puts weight on the leg that it collapses beneath him. Yeah, you saw that shit? Horrific breakage. The commentary team quickly confirms everyone's worst fears as Sofia and Bukichu sits slumped against the cage. That's why you gotta give respect. Sofia Bukichu! That's why you gotta give respect to whoever wanna do that. This shit is serious. He yelling? Cage Warriors 101, Tom Aspinall checking that kick. Uh, oh no, that's somebody else. I thought that was him yelling. Like that. This moment shows exactly how powerful world-class fighters can execute their strikes. That just about wraps it up for our list of 10 fighters who got seriously hurt uh. in MMA. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. That shit was wild. I like watching MMA. I don't know if I could forget. Like, I mean, those freak accidents, that shit don't happen a lot, but... No, that shit, wow. Thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.